I'm down here with the uh, captain coach of the uh, Vancouver Valley Vipers, Stephen Lenahan. Stephen, uh, you guys are up against a pretty strong Valley Warriors side today. Uh, what are you expecting out there? Oh, a big physical, tough battle. Um, and just for us to, you know, grow in the game, you know, a lot of new players. So just looking to kind of get them more used to league rugby than, uh, than transitioning out of union. So, yeah, big physical game. Absolutely. Uh, you guys are the new guys to the competition and uh, you're uh, definitely developing. How's the development been going? Oh, really good. Like we got, I think, nine guys that have never played rugby league who've, uh, who've started this year um, and maybe three guys that have played a lot of rugby league. So it's all new faces, new people to the game, which is great. And, and they're picking it up really quickly. You know, we had a tough uh, going last week, but that was against a real strong side. And uh, this week we're looking to be a bit more competitive. So. Absolutely. You who uh, can see that you've named uh, Wolverine Rick Shouten to be playing today. Uh, what are you expecting out of the uh, national representative today? I'm really hoping for him to really bring you know, all that experience and leadership that he's uh, acquired over the years playing nationally um, to kind of really help organize us. I felt last week we weren't very organized, so I'm really hoping that he can kind of help us bring some more control and uh, just structure to the game. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Stephen, and uh, best of luck out there. Thank you. Cheers. I'm down here with Valley Warriors uh, head coach uh, Ben Hickey. Uh, ben, uh, you guys are going pretty good this season uh, up against the Vipers today. Uh, what, are you, what are you expecting out there? Uh, expecting a tough game, mate. Um, haven't seen much of them, but know they're a pretty heavy squad up the middle. So we're expecting them to try and uh, get us done there. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can match it and um, yeah, come away with a win. Absolutely. Uh, you guys have uh, had a pretty good run so far. You had the week off last week and, uh, and uh, you've, uh, you've uh, basically recuperated. Uh, what uh, Any good players we should be looking out for from Valley today? Um, yeah, mate. Uh, don't want to give it away in case anyone's watching before from uh, the Vipers. But no, nah, number seven, uh, Jared Newey's a uh, leader on and off the field for us this year. He's come over from Australia. So um, yeah, he's been great for us. Um, he's actually warming the boys up now and that, which makes my job a little bit easier. So um, uh, other than that, mate, uh, yeah, there's a few other little uh, guys in there, sort of thing like that. We'll see how they go today if they're on their game. And um, yeah, but, yeah, absolutely. Well, I uh, wish you the best of luck, mate, and have a great game. Yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate Cheers. it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers boys. And welcome back to our second game here at Brockton Oval for our doubleheader at BCRL Round 3. We have the Vancouver Valley Vipers up against the Van uh, against the Valley, excuse me, Warriors. Uh, we're going to have a team sheet run here for the Valley Warriors in blue and yellow. Going from right to left of your screen, we have number one in fullback, Hayden Turner. In uh, number five on the wing, Darian Archer, with Gary Longman in number two on the wings. Our centre pairings here are Munka. Mar our centre pairings here, my bad, are Marika Delay and Luke Tarother, lit three and four both. In the halves, we have Jared Nui in number seven at halfback, and number six, we're in 5'8, Roger Caroy. Number eight, our props. And 10, Nicholas, uh, number 8 is Ryan Mitchell, and number 10 is Nicholas Law, with number 9, Jai Scanlon, in and at uh, hooker. Number 15, Graham Bray, in, a, in second half, with number 12, Anthony Hazelman. And lock is Joey Murphy, the very experienced Joey Murphy, with a great hit up by our first uh, Vancouver Valley Viper, Brett, in number 13. Uh, keeping on down the bench, we got Lemon Grogan, and 14, number 15, Corey Motions. Uh, Number 16, Alex Hirstoff. Number 19, Aiden Ward. 18, Jay Franklin. And number 19, Spencer Marshall. Number 9, sorry, Spencer Marshall. That is for the Valley Warriors. The uh, Vancouver Valley Vipers, uh, I can tell you a couple of players that we have as they come out now with Stephen Lenahan on the outside to a bulging run there by the number 14. Uh, We've got number seven, Rick Shouten, will be calling as a halfback with his partner, Stephen Lenahan. And then we also have uh, Dean Cudmore and number, Devin Cudmore and number eight, 13, Brad, and 22, Tyler. And the fifth tackle now and gives it out. Oh, pass got to know and Rick Shouten now looking for a nice midfield bomb. Looks like there's someone underneath it. No, it's gone back and then, oh, could have been knocked on there. And great call there by Ash to say knock on by the Vipers. Great start to the game. The uh, sun's starting to peek through the clouds as we look to set off this second doubleheader after a great first game win by uh, the reigning Premier's Dragons. And they got up the win 22-18. to 18. 
Be sure to watch that game you have. And Tarotha now looking for a go. Oh, he's a straight through. Tarotha straight through. He's a fullback to beat. He goes through, bumps his stuff. He pushes off the second guy, but he makes a second effort. Going backwards, picked up by the number 10 there. What a tackle there. Gives him the outside to number eight. Ryan Mitchell, Ryan Mitchell now, he's held up. Beautiful tackles there for the Vipers. Marshall now asking for the ball, play the ball. He's still holding on to him, he hasn't released him yet. Marshall to the right to this big prop. He's done number 10 there, Nicholas Law. Law now with a hit up. Marshall, oh, he's been ripped out, but it's a penalty. Lenahan getting very excited there to try and take that ball, but uh, Yash says no. Five metre tap now for the Warriors. He takes it back now, Marshall. Looking to tap. Looks at the tap. Long ball out to Troller. Troller beats, palms him off, but he can't hold him out. Takes him straight over the sideline. Wow. Very interesting choice there by Marshall. I, I believe he must have saw some, uh, some space on the right-hand side, which is great. Unfortunately, though, not coming off for uh, Troller there. Number four, great centre. And... Uh, Unfortunately, there we go with a scrum and Vipers to feed. Fed now by the Vipers as the uh, marshal comes in to lock up the scrum for the Warriors. Straight to the back, picked up by the back by Lenahan, passed on by Shouten. Shouten come up. Jay Franklin there with a nice tackle. Oh, it's a penalty now. He's, he's no, not got to get the hands out of the ruck there. He's not looking that perfect. Shout's going to look for the uh, for the wing. Absolutely, it's a great uh, great kick out there. You got about about 15 minutes, 15 meters, sorry, of the uh, of field position there. Waiting for the ball to be passed in, and uh, as we uh, <clears throat> look to both our teams getting set, the Warriors can't get that ball through. Finally get it on. Here we go, two hit-ups now. Number 12, oh, he's burst straight through, number 12. Oh, look, he's gone base up to the halfway line. What a run by the number 12 there for the Vipers. Options both side here for the hooker. Looks to his left. Great pass to this busting run by the 14. What a great hit up. Beautiful run. Nine now standing there. Dummies. Shouting. Spins on the outside to Lenahan. Lenahan looks to Brett. Brett gets an outside. Oh, and he's tackled. Taken in a ball and all tackle there by... Uh, it looks like the winger there, Darren Archer. Lenahan. Big bustling run by the big 16. Wow, what a big hit up. Gets set now. Plays the ball. Looks to his left. The nine goes himself. Tackled around the legs and over the top. Oh, what's he calling? Looks like it could be an offside here. Yeah, wasn't standing square at marker, I believe. So that is the call from uh, Yash. And it looks like it's going to be a penalty to the Vipers. Bring on the water there, we're looking for the water, the boys. It's, it's getting quite hot here.
Stephen Enlihan looking for the penalty now. Oh, he's, he's put a bit of bit on it. I don't think he's going to make it out. No, and then we've got a runner here. I believe this might be Marika Lai. Yeah, oh, he's straight through. Oh, no, it's Roger Croy. I'm sorry. Roger Croy now looking to play the ball. Everybody's touching his head, but he's nothing. Darren Archer with a great scoot out of dummy half. Beats one. Tackled there by Brett. Over the top. Well done. Looks now. Marshall. To his right. To his le left, sorry. And a decent hit up there by... Uh, I can't see the number 11 then. Jared Nui now. Looking to the inside. To 12. Oh, it's popped out. And Marsh and there is uh, Ricky Shout picks it up. Oh, what a tackle there by Tarola. Straight under the thing. big lifting tackle there. Beautiful work on the 14. Lenahan now looking to offload. He goes through himself. He's looking for the offload now. No, can't get the hand away. Perfect move here. Vipers on the attack. 30 meters out. Brett now on the outside, look for the big eight. Bumps off the one, tackled around. Hazelman there trying to get that tackle. Knew he's staying out of the ruck now. Oh, he's tricked over him, but he's called a penalty, lying in the ruck. One of the best milking I've ever seen, and, and I've been here for a while. It's fantastic by that milk. You gotta play your, uh, oh, quick tap taken. Lenahan now looks for the switch to Shout and Shout looking for the try line. It could be over. No, he's held up there by Murphy. Looks like it's second tackle now. He's shouting to play the ball. Brett backwards. Lenahan looking of Shovel. Shuffles a little onto the 11. 11 coming across. Is no no way to get in there. Hazelman over there at the bottom and moves back there. Brett coming in, Hazelman to bump, looking to get to the line. No, he can't get there. Short. Shouting now. He's straight through, looking for, looking at the line again. No, he can't get there in the end. Lenahan chips through himself. Fullback. He's got a lot of work to do. Tarother now looking to get out of the zone in zone. Here he goes, steps in off his light. He's a straight through Tarother. Look at him, he's got one to beat. He look, can he get, oh, he's just brought down there. Whoa, what a, what a great effort by Tarother to get out of his own thing. Archer now, what a scoot. Archer's having a great game. Number five, he's beaten two. He's still away, Archer. Look at that. Oh, a ball and all tackle made by the 11. Well done by Archer with a great scoot out of dummy half. Tarother now looking again. Gives it on the out, out to 18 to Franklin. Franklin, he's straight through on the wings there. They're making some really big meters here, the Warriors. Archer gives it to Marshall. Marshall now looking for a scoot to get through the middle there. Pushing off to one. Oh, he's lost control of that ball and picked up by the Vipers. But he's called a knock-on both ways, I believe. Yep, and he's in a scrum down. And it looks like it's going to be a Warriors feed. Wow. So first knock-on to the Vipers. Sun is starting to peek through now, which is great. They pack down for the scrum. Looking to feed now for the Warriors. Does it now. Marshall comes out of uh, comes out of lock position and scrum. Franklin. Franklin steps off his left. Taken by Shouten over the top. Great tackle by the 11. Oh, no. Uh, not given. Just couldn't keep control of that ball there. Unforced errors starting to creep into the play. Oh, and he's given lip two and he's been given 10. Oh, dear. Well, he's not putting up with it today, Yash. Absolutely disappointing there by, the, by <coughs> Jay Franklin to go get 10 minutes. He's blowing up there, Franklin. He's not happy. It's been given 10 minutes and puts his team under pressure there. It's an old one, but, a, but, a, but an, uh, not a new one. Can't verbal the referee. Otherwise, you go and take a seat for 10 minutes on the bench and cost your team one of those players. Valley Warriors now down to 12 men for 10 minutes as the Vipers look to try and get out of their own half. Uh, 
here they go, moving up the Vipers. Good, nice tackle of all three, making a really good move. Not letting him up, but Murphy knowing plays it back now. Who's that? Brett moving out of dummy half. Great little scoot. Gets out of there. And everyone hazes him underneath there and on top there, Nui. Nui now moves in the second marker. 14 coming up out of the line there. Perfect work. Here he goes, Lenahan. Looks out to Shouten. Shouten gives it a pass to Todd. Gives it a 12. 12 making a move now. Oh, this looks like he's calling for a knock, but not seen by Yash. Lenahan shouting on the outside with a nice pass. Looks for him. In the oh, looks like he's drifted forward, and it has called him Yash. Well done. Great little uh, attacking there by the Vipers. They're really showing with uh, with what they've got. They've got a bit of uh, attacking prowess in this side, and it's good to see. Vipers are looking really promising so far. Here we go with the Warriors. Archer, always looking for work. Archer looking very good on the wing. Definitely gets his scoots out. Fantastic work. Corey's moved into uh, into dummy half. Gives it to the number eight, Ryan Mitchell. Mitchell, what a, oh, picked up and put on his backside by that number eight by the Vipers. Having words there in the tackle there. Nice, still having a bit of a giggle there too. Murphy now looking for work up there. Great, gets to his front, perfect, and Lenahan comes over the top. Murphy plays the ball. Karoy at the back to Nui. Nui now looking for some space. Kicks a nice little grubber in behind. Oh, ooh, and easily taken by the fullback there. Nui with chasing his kick and will come in and make that tackle. Big contact there from, uh, from Nui and the 10, which is uh, Law shouting to the 14, coming out of Marshall, coming out of the line and putting some f chest on chest beefness straight up at the 14 for the Vipers. Really well done. Lenahan now looks to give the offload. No, holds it himself. Flick pass to Shouten. Shouten with nowhere to go. 7 and 12 all over him. Looking to get the quick play of the ball. Oh, third man in. And yes, there will be a penalty there. The third man in. Tip, quick tap and go. No, that's been asked. Big call to back. And shouting with a nice kick to the sideline. Great nudge. Guernsey's uh, team a, take a tap from about uh, 38 metres out from the attacking, from the defensive line of the Warriors. Vipers on the attack now. Gives it to the big number 16. He's big and bold. Oh, he bumps off the first guy, but he's still got him there. Graham Bray, I believe, is over the top there. Great tackle. Dodd now. Dodd making a move. Oh, what a run by the Dodster. Dodster, what a move. He's going to get stand up and he's play the ball. No, nah, he's been asked to be, uh, to not give, not got to hold that ball and stand up. You can't just drop it and then play it back as you go. Valley Warriors now with a uh, the feed. Nui looks to give it to Karoy to Rolla. To Rolla looking to get a, a good thing. Ooh. Oh, gets the offload to Karoy. Karoy shows outside, gives inside to Marshall. The two headgears are mastering to his back. It's a headgear fest now. All three headgears involved. Karoy in dummy half to Mitchell. Mitchell now 
Good hit up. Nice. Good metres. About 10 metres there by Mitchell. Picked up quick by Karoy. Karoy now. On the outside, no. Picked up. What an intercept there by Vipers. Great intercept. And it looks like there's a penalty there for offside. Roy now to Tarotha. Tarotha looking for another little, oh, here he goes. And then, yeah, Tarotha, oh, they've got him and lifted him and put him on his back. That's a nice, nice tackle there by the two. Nui taking late. Oh, no, I don't think he was taking late there, but he's made a thing. Oh, an offload there, bro. What a player. Gives it to there to Longman. Longman. Oh, another offload there to Hazelman. Hazelman looking now. He's making a run. Oh, and taking a clean tackle there by Shouten. Nice, beautiful work. Gets him onto his back. Well played, Shouten. Hazelman now. Longman again. Looking to go through the middle. He's skipping. He's diving. He's moving. Can he make through over the line? He's there. He's almost there. They're one meter out, the Warriors. Having a look now. He's. Oh, it's picked up. It's, not, it's play on. Picked up. The number 19, Ward, was looking around. He didn't pick up the ball. And lucky for Ward. Lenahan now looking to get out of dummy half. They're trying to scoot, working their way out of the Vipers. Marshall yelling out, no penalties. They doesn't want any penalties here. As they, oh, whoa, that's a weird tackle there. He sort of maneuvered him onto his back and then put him sort of on his head. But he sort of moved it now. Ward now. Still working. Number 14, solid defense there by Motion and also Karoy. Karoy getting in and helping out. Brett passed out to the number 16, I believe. Shouting now with a nice deep kick, perfect down and centered. The fullback's coming to move at Turner, and oh, he keeps it in. Whoa, a little bit of class there showed by Turner. Dummies, oh, he fools him, beats Shouten. Here he goes, Turner. He's a big lad. He's got, oh, he kicks on the first. Oh, and then, <laughs> then he just, <laughs> he kicked on the first, and then he, uh, oh, there's a long ball out the winger. The winger's away. Marshall to beat. Marshall's got him. Wow, some razzle-dazzle stuff here by the Warriors and by the... Oh, he's picked it up. Oh, no, he's called a penalty for not standing square. Yash has definitely learnt from, I think, from the Dragons' point grey game. The uh, standing square is a lot more uh, stricter this time. As he looks... Wow, what an interesting piece of play we just had. Hayden Turner makes a really big break. He's a lump of a lad. He'd be about six foot four from here. Would be easily maybe 220, 230. Got a bit of pace on him. Then he looks to kick, and then he bumps into a <laughs> Vipers player and falls over. Uh, not bad effort, but unfortunately uh, didn't get the bickies. Here's Vipers now. They're about 35 metres out. Here comes the 16, bustling straight into the two. Really big hit-ups. Whoa. He's definitely working. And they work him on the ground too. There's the Warriors having a crack. Oh, they're still into it. Oh, bit of niggle. Looks to play the ball. No, can't. Even. Markers all over each other as the 12 takes a hit-up now. Mitchell involved in this tackle. Marshall. Marshall's just coming up. He's definitely playing above his weight. Absolutely killing it. Marshall is standing in first marker now. Lenahan onto the bulging 14, makes a move. He really gets a start at 14. He loves taking those big hit ups. Brett now onto number eight there for Vipers. Vipers then taken over the top by Marshall and underneath by Hazelman. Marshall needs to move out of the ruck there. Shouting, looking for a short ball to go over. They can't get him over, and unfortunately, it's a knock on. Some uh, interesting plays so far by the Vipers. It's been not too bad.
is not on. And the one after that will be in Langley. Oh no. And Warriors there have had a go, had a nice little move. Oh, he's, he's, he's come out of market pretty there on Jai Scanlon. And yes, he's been given a penalty that for that. It's not a bad effort. Straight in. Looks to kick it now there, Newey. And he does. He does a really nice new. Here we go. And Marika there, number number three, Marika Delai. Takes a nice hit up there. Scanlon onto Ward. Ward now taking a hit up straight down the middle there. Beautiful work there by Ward. Ward now, Scanlon looking both sides. Behind and Nui. Nui now looking, Karoy. Karoy looking for the short ball. Gives them their back out to, to, to Turner. Turner to Rother. To Rother now looking to himself. Taken underneath the things and tackled perfectly. Perfect. But he gets the offload away. Turner flick passes back, but it looks like he lost the ball, and it will be a knock on. There's some razzle dazzle stuff happening here between the Vipers and the Warriors to start with. Absolute razzle dazzle stuff, and it's looking great. Still deadlocked at uh, at zero zero, but there is definitely some uh, some movement from both sides as we look to. Um, Lots of hands on knees out there. It's a very uh, fast moving game. This game is, uh, hasn't slowed down much of both sides. And, uh, Jay Franklin is back on, which means that they're back to full strength now. He's come off actually for a breather, but I believe that they're back on to full strength. Here we go. And now we're in a minute. Lenahan. Nice taken there by Hazelman and Murphy. Murphy's still working. Trying to get around in the front, and he does so. Lenahan now to Dodd. Dodd straight up. Great hit up by Dodd. Wow. Look at that. He's got to remember to pick up the ball this time, and hopefully he will. Yes, he does. Excellent. And plays the ball. Excellent. Brett now inside. Uh oh, picked up there by Motion. Motion now. Motion with a brand new set here. Scanlon. Look to Murphy. Murphy to make a move. They're all over him now. Nine and 13. Scanlon. Looks to the, to the left. Gives it to Ward. Ward back on the inside. To, back on the inside to Graham Bray. And Bray now. Looking to play the ball. Bray to Croy. Croy inside. It passes to Mac. Oh, Marika. Delay and tackled there. Wow, what a beautiful move. They move very well. Croy now screaming for the ball to Nui. Nui now looks, 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 looks to the outside, looks to the winger. Oh, it's a forward pass. It did look forward. It looked forward from here too, but Croy was screaming for the ball to go to the left side. It looked massively on. There looked like there were a lot of players uh, that weren't uh, at it. It was definitely on. There was definitely massive overlap there on the left edge for the Warriors. Great call, great movement. Here they go, the Vipers now. They're making a move. Straight off the top. Oh, it's a and oh head high tackle. <laughs> it's a hard effort there. I think Hayden Turner and uh, quite a tall lad. <laughs> He doesn't realise that when he comes down to make those tackles, it's normally around the head. Here we go. Gives it to the big number 16, and he's just monstered by about four guys. They're all working him over. Great play by those four blokes. Looking great. Here they go. Nine out of the dummy half making a move. 12 again, another big hit up. 
Great tackle by Scanlon, and then don't forget Hristoff there. Oh, it looks like he's a down and injured himself there, Hristoff. Long ball, gives it, but he doesn't give it there. Picked up by the Warriors. Yeah, he's done his knee, looks like that way. He looks like he's really hurt himself there. He's injured, he's limping off. He could be done. He's off the field now, unfortunately. He doesn't look, uh, look too good for the young player. Murphy. Murphy straight through. Wow, he's just made it straight through. Gives the offload. Offload to Bray. Bray now. Look, at he's still going. They're working him now onto his back. Scanlon. Gives it to Tarotha. Tarotha having a look now. Goes straight through one. Beats one. Beats the seagulls for the second. Looking for the offload. No, he's straight to his front. Here we go now. Scanlon to the left. He goes himself now himself. He could go straight over. Gives the offload. Tarotha picks up, ga gathers. He's straight through now. Oh, he's just been tackled about two metres out from their own line there. Valley Warriors going in for the attack. Scanlon to Karoy. Karoy looks for the long pass to Nui. Nui now. Looks on to there to Hayden Turner, and Turner in the corner with a beautiful try. It was just too many numbers. It was just a great, great move there. Long ball, it was a dry scanlon behind the ball pass to Karoy in the 5'8". Long ball from Karoy straight to Nui, and Nui knew exactly who to hit, and that was to hit his big fullback on the outside of the two centres, and then split the centre pairing, uh, split the centre wing pairing, and then go straight in in that back corner beautiful beautiful effort there by the by the valley warriors and now they take the lead now four to zero with a kick to come and we'll be looking to see how they go with this kick looks like Nui will be taking the kick Nui now sets to kick. <laughs> Deep breath from the sideline, about a metre in. Looks to swing it back. Has it got the distance though? No, it doesn't have the distance unfortunately. It goes short. So the score remains four points to zero. And it's the Valley Warriors leading the Vancouver Valley Vipers. Four points to zero. He goes Stephen Lenahan with the kickoff. And he looks like he's going to get it over the sideline. Absolutely well done by Lenahan. Now they get the return of the... They get the return uh, scrum. Feed to Vipers, which has put a bit of shock onto the Warriors. I don't think they were aware of uh, what the rule was. Some of them should have uh, had a quick look, but they've got to, you've got to stop... That ball getting kicked out has to bounce and then go out, and then you get possession back for your scrum, 
which has just happened now. So here we go and have a look at this. Are they going to set up? Vipers now, good feed. Lenahan looks at the inside ball, but goes himself. Bits around the outside of Karoy and, and uh, Marika. No, Delai and Karoy get him covered. The two Fijian players. Rick Shouten now making a move. Gives it the back there. 14. Looks to 16. Looks at it straight up. But he, oh, he tries to boff Nui. What a, he's just a machine, that 16. Loves just taking the physicality of the game by boffing a few guys. Oh, same with number eight. They've got some really strong hits in this game here today. Fantastic work by both. Outside now to Ford. Oh, he's ripped the ball. Franklin, is it? Is it a knock-on? One-on-one. -on -one. Picked up by uh, Valley. Yep, yeah, change of possession now. Franklin now goes himself. Looks for the offload. Gives it. Now it goes on to, it looks like Mitchell. Mitchell with a run, nice run there by Mitchell, the prop. And it's knock on there. Uh, so hell holding on. Pe easy penalty there for Yash to pick up. Got to clear that ruck. Got to get out of the way. Hayne Turner now looking to kick, get a nudge in. Wow, what a nudge. Those big long legs getting at least 30 metres of uh, extra field position. Well done. Deli now takes a tap and runs himself. Oh no, he's coming. Here we go. Deli to take another go at it. Mitchell now taking the hit up. Looks for the good position. Three boys work him. Try to get into his back. No, still trying to work on him. No, there's got to be a penalty. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to let go if you can go. Yeah, boys are just telling him then, you, you know, get a release when you hear it. Can't be holding all the time. Here comes number 10. Oh, what a bru bruising run there by Law. Plays the ball. Scallon takes the dummy blind side. They're moving to the top now. He holds that ball. No, he's held it. No, he's, yeah, he's held it. He hasn't dropped it yet. Bray in a dummy half. They're screaming for numbers on the right there. Screaming for the ball. Scanlon goes the blind side though. Screaming on the right. They're still screaming for the balls. Big numbers. That's fourth tackle there. Scanlon now goes again blind side to, to still looking for it. Fifth tackle. Let's see if he goes right now. Does now to Nui. Nui with a space chip through. Pick, cleaned up, picked up easily by the uh, number. Is it? That's number eight there. Is it? Can't see that. Played. On to stepping there, number 13. Brett. <laughs> there, good move there. Still having a look there, trying to get a move on. Gives it to Lenahan now. Lenahan looking at drifts it over the top. Oh, picked up. Oh, the bootlace is great. Tackle. Delay now trying to get him out. Longman, can he get him over? No, he stays in the field of play. <coughs> Dragged out. Wow. Wow. Hand over. Great hands. It was unfortunate, though. Nui now looking to play the ball. Delai moves into hooker. Gets away from Lenahan. Still looking to try to make him. Oh, bets him. Gets look in. Oh, and Dodd with a nice balls and all tackle. Kuroi looks at the inside. Doesn't give it. Goes himself. Makes a move. Kuroi takes that tackle. Here he looks for the play the ball now. Scanlon. On the outside of Franklin. Franklin to Marshall. Marshall now. Oh, what a nice little bring down. 
Beautiful effort there. Marshall to play the ball. Scanlon gives it to Franklin. Franklin looking to go. He tells him to go straight up, and he does. He picked up and put on his butt for just for his efforts. Fifth tackle. Now, what can the Warriors do here? Looks to the left. Karoy having a look. He's got Nui next to him. Goes behind Nui. Gives on the outside of Turner. And it's a, just a repeat try of the exact same move on the left-hand side with, again, this time, not so long a passes from Karoy and also from Nui. And Turner just goes over, strolls over with no one in front of him to beat the outside winger. Got to really work on their uh, right-hand defence here for the Vipers. Lots of effort uh, They've been caught out twice now. <laughs> Great try there by Hayden Turner. The two tries to the uh, fullback. Same, uh, same play. They're looking that really fit in that left edge position. Warriors really making a move there. Starting to get a bit of a stranglehold in this game. Vipers are, of course, they're playing with exactly 13 men. So it's uh, it's good to get some uh, some breathers in and try and uh, dig deep. A few replacements on the on the bench there for the Warriors. Nui now. There's no breeze. Sun's out, but there's no breeze at all. Shapes to kick. Looks like it's coming back. But it is short. It comes back, but not enough thing. And it's half time. And the score remains Valley Warriors, eight points. And Vancouver Valley Vipers, nil. All right, welcome back to the second half as Stephen Lenahan kicks off with a ooh, ooh, and he takes it this time. They've learned from their previous mistake to not let it bounce and go out. And Tarotha's still working and, oh, oh, oh. He's been called out. And a nice little hit up there by the 14, Liam Grogan. Beautiful work there. Oh, a little bit of a niggle too on the marker. Scanlon, Karoy, inside to Murphy. Murphy now, he takes a hit up, gets over the halfway. Murphy with a great little, uh, still trying to get himself up. Scanlon, Karoy now, gives it Nui. Straight hit up there by 11, the motion. And he's just made it to just over the halfway as well. <clears throat> Nui now looks for a nice little chip kick in the back there, but it's... Oh, looks like it's a knock-on, and it's confirmed knock-on. Unfortunately, uh, he was there to take the kick, but uh, just proved too hard to uh, to get that ball. And we'll have a scrum down in perfect field position here on the 20-metre line for Vancouver uh, for the Valley Warriors. Great start, 8-0 uh, so far to the Valley Warriors. Two tries by the fullback, Hayden Turner. Unfortunately, not converted by Jared Newey, so he's none from two. As the Warriors look to penetrate the Vipers' defensive line here. Scanlon, loose pass to Kuroi. Kuroi now looking for that pass there to Delai. Delai pushes, looks with the palm on Shouten, but no, the Wolverine gets him around the legs. Shout now, Duns in a dummy, and Marker, Tarotha, looking for a pass, for a, for a, looking for a way through, but he's not. Shouten chases Dummy R. Scanlon. Beautiful off laid there by Tarotha. Gives it to Scanlon. Play the ball. Tarotha. Tarotha looking to go himself again. And he is tackled. Almost in the line there. Looks for the second effort but doesn't do it. Play the ball. Picked up. From dummy half. Can he put the ball over? Yes, he does. Great move by Scanlon there. And the Valley Warriors take another try. Just left of the uprights. And you can just put that down to absolute attacking pressure by the Valley Warriors. A really nice kick there from Jared Nui. And that kick set up a beautiful pressure uh, knock on, unfortunately, by the number 22 for Vipers, leading the, war the Warriors to have a crack at their defensive line. 
And you can see over there at the moment, uh, Rick Shouten laying down the law as the Wolverine, as the uh, experienced Wolverine in that team. And Croy looks like he's going to take the conversion here. <laughs> Nui uh, relieving the duties to Croy. The seven passing the kicking duties to the 5-8 at number six. As we look now to set up five minutes away in in the uh, first second half of this uh, double header of course uh, if you haven't seen the footage of the first game definitely check it out it was a big win for the reigning premiers the 2018 reigning premiers vancouver dragons over the point gray thunder a great game of rugby league here in bc went down to the wire as now we set up for Another great game of rugby league, a really n tough battle as Croy looks to make it 14 points to zero. Flags are up. Looks like he's kicked that goal. And therefore we have moved now to 14 point, uh, yeah, we've moved to 14 points to zero. Here we are now, uh, Vipers. Um, there haven't been been out of this tussle. It's been actually a pretty decent tussle between these two teams. They just got to try and pick up and uh, a lot of green faces, and they're starting to learn the game of rugby league, which is great to see. As Lenahan kicks off with a really nice deep kick right over the head of Croy. No, he manages to stop it and pull it in. Looking for a hit up now is Bray. As a 14 comes across to chase, but he's straight through the middle there. Bray straight through the middle, not sure what to do himself. Oh, he's beaten one of the fullback. Oh, interesting tackle there by the 11. Not sure if that was wrapped or anything at all, but it was an interesting choice of tackle. Tarotha now makes a move. He looks for the. Oh, and it's a nice legs and all tackle by the eight. Beautiful weapon there, Devin Cudmore. Oh, he's straight through there again. Beautiful work by Motion. Motion looks like no one's going to stop him. No one's going to stop him there. And he dives over the line to score a beautiful try there. Beautiful try by Motion there from Warriors. Just too much pressure and attack. Really making a move. Absolute devastation in, a, uh, in an attacking pressure game. Beautiful work there by Valley uh, Warriors. It was just a penetrating offense. It's all started from that man, number 11, uh, number, sorry, number 15, Graham Bray. Just a, a unstoppable effort. Beat his first line of attack. Beat the second wave of defense and then decided to beat the fullback. And an unlucky tackle, an interesting tackle, I'd have to say, by the 11 for the Vipers. A diving uh, shoulder tackle, I would say. Then picked up and another devastating bits of moves and stuff and moved through and then taken on the post to the left of the post by motion. A lot of tired defenders there with Vipers, a lot of hands on hips, which can be uh, said when you when there's not no reserves to, to help out, but it's a great effort by the, the Vipers to, to make it out. Warriors now looking to kick with Kuroi. <laughs> And he's just sailed that wide, which brings the score now to 18 points to nil. Vancouver Valley Vipers are out of uh, all the areas in the Fraser Valley. Includes the townships of Mission, Abbotsford, Chilliwack, Langley, Delta, Maple Ridge. If you are watching this and interested in playing some rugby league, make sure you get in touch with the powers that be, the Vancouver Valley Vipers. Always looking for players, as you can see. And so get in touch and come and play some rugby league here in BC. Stephen Lenahan now to kick off. 
And it's a deep side kick again, and Motion looks like he just takes it clean. And he's picked up, oh, he gets a bit of a run on, and he's a bustling run as that. And the offload to Delai. Delai now. Oh, and he looks to give the pass off. No, and he holds on to it, takes the hit. Looks to play the ball now, Delai. Big scoot out by Longman. Longman now tackled and rolled onto his back there by the number nine for the Vipers. Scanlon onto Ward. Ward tackled by 12. Marshall onto Turner. Turner unlocked, picked up by 14. He's away now, Viper the 15. Oh, and he's clean, ball and all tackled by Marshall. Oh, he's giving it over. Tough tackle. No advantage given there, and unfortunately it's going to be a scrum feed to the Vipers. Great refereeing there by Yash. Great tackle there by the number nine for the Warriors, Spencer Marshall. Shouting now, he's going to go straight in the middle of the scrum. He's making a good little run down the middle, behind, straight behind the scrum. It was great to see. The, the Marcus couldn't have been square there. Lenahan now tackled by Tarotha. Tackle now, looks to play the ball. Oh, he's hurt himself there, Lenahan. Nine. Looking now to the 12, 12 come out, oh, out of the, out of the line to rather to make that hit. Nine now, looking again to 16, 16, looks at the shout, no, dummies goes himself. Delight can't make the tackle, he's palms him off. Scanlon now moves in the second marker. They're on the attack, the Vipers. 10 metres out, shouting, shouting now. Oh, he's come out, offload. Short ball, he looks to go to the line, no, he's two metres out, it's fifth tackle now. Vipers on the attack with fifth tackle. Gives a long ball to Shouten. Shouten looks for a grubber. Grubber cleaned up by Tarotha and brought out just outside of the two metres out. Skyland gives it off to Mitchell. Mitchell's tackle there. Tackle two and only about... 10 metres out, Delai with a beautiful scoot out of dummy half. He looks like he beats two. That's a great run. 15 metres there by Delai. Cannot be beaten. Scanlon, Lonta. Oh, big hit. Oh, what a palm. He's just put the massive palm on the 15 there, Law. What a tackle there by Law. What a running, bulging run by the prop. And Ward now looking to make an effort. Some really big de uh, attacking there by the Warriors. Scanlon now, having a look, fifth tackle. They're about 55 metres out of their own half. Nui, beautifully big, long sort of crossing sort of bomb, not so high, but it's on the river. Oh, he's flipped up by a Grogan. Grogan now, has he picked it up? And it could be a try, and it is. What a kick. Picked up there by the 14, Liam Grogan. And he has put it over the line and scored a try. Well done. Some really, really good moves. That, that cook, that kick, sorry, it looked, looked nothing. It wasn't high as a bomb. It was long as a kick. Didn't know if it was, a, if it was an attacking kick or it was a, just to get it out. But wow, what a kick. Some great chasing there. As they say, your kick is only ever good as your chases. And the Warriors now have picked it up and they've moved into 22 points to nil with a kick to come. This time Scanlon is gonna be taking a kick. Let's see what he can do from, uh, I'd say to the right of the posts, about 18 meters out. Here we go. Oh, it's uh, a, <laughs> wow. I don't know if he'd ever get a start in soccer with a kick like that. He, uh, I don't even know if he was going for the top of the, the goals or what, but uh, yeah, if I was his kicking coach, I'd give him a little bit of a, might need a bit more height. 
on that kick. But nice effort by Jai Scanlon. So therefore, it's uh, still leading there, 22 points to nil for Vancouver for the Valley Warriors against the Vancouver Valley Vipers. Try saying that 12 times. They're looking, uh, <clears throat> they're looking a bit tired, the Vipers, but they still got a bit about them. Still keen to play, still keen to put the efforts on, still keen to play this beautiful game, rugby league. As Lenahan now looks as a shortish style kick, and they're big chases. And Scanlon now has picked it up, and they've tackled him and monstered him over the top with some nice defense. Nui moves into the hook and roll. Murphy. Goes behind him, gives it to uh, to the new player, number 20. Uh, the new Fijian player that's on. And it looks like he's just lost the ball. And Yash has ruled that and a scrum at two Vipers. It's hilarious. <laughs> great, great effort there by uh, Delay and Murphy to tackle, and uh, number eight doesn't look too happy as he gets up to play the ball. Under De Lenahan, picks up by the 14. Looks to give it. He dummies, gives a shout, and now, oh, it was just a bad pass. Shout was away easily, easily going to be a try there by to the Wolverine, but unfortunately. It uh, didn't work out that way, but it was a nice little effort. Wow, it's a bit, just a, I don't know, just a bit of aggression there. I mean, it must be a tired game for these guys, and they're just trying to get a bit of, you know, the niggle out. Hayden Turner now. Wow, what a nudge. That guy can kick. I believe he would have kicked from the other side of the goalpost to kick that, so it was easily a 60-meter kick, that one. They're looking set now. They're going to attack from the 40-meter line. No, and it looks like they're going back further. It's going to be a 30-metre 30, 30 attack here. The uh, Vipers are going to set up for defence on, uh, on the line. And here we go. Scanlon to tap. Archer looking. Uh, he just tucks the ball under his arm and looks to bump into the two guys with a great, great hit up. Here he goes. Oh, they're looking a bit nearly all in there. That 14 seems to have a run in with a few people out there, which is good to see. Nothing like a bit of biff here in the, uh, in the game. Marshall looking to go around to Marshall. He bumps off one, looks for the offload. No, he looks to spin off the second guy and doesn't do it. Great move there by Marshall. Scanlon to Nui. Nui looking for the inside ball for Delight. No, goes himself to the line. Keeks beats two, beats three. Looks for the offload now. Can he get one away? No, he can't. He's tackled there. Goes to roll the ball now, Nui. Franklin, Turner, on the outside to the big fella, number 20, the new player, and he scores. The new 20. I wish I had his name on register, but I do not. He doesn't have a name, but he's got points. I guess we're going to get the name at the end. He's earned himself a bit of meat, the number 20. I've just been informed by the head coach, Ben Hickey, his name's Illy. So Illy there, number 20, has earned himself uh, a try. Uh, obviously, we'll uh, 
update you in the future or maybe in the notes with the the official name but Illy is his name so far congratulations to Illy there earning some meat there for number 20. And that takes the uh, then the Valley Warriors. I've got to keep saying that the Valley Warriors. That takes the Valley Warriors to uh, twenty six points to nil, with a kick to come. And it looks like the big guy Hayden Turner now their fourth choice kicker. It looks like for the Valley Warriors. <laughs> Well, I mean, with Nui, we were short on distance. With Scanlon, we don't know what we were looking at. Karoy, we had a shot. And now Hayden Turner looks like, well, I, I've, got to, I've got to say, I think he will have the distance on this one. Let's see the direction. Well, he should have been kicking all day. <laughs> he, should have, he had distance, he had precision, and he just got the points. So the, the, the Warriors lead 28 to nil after their fourth choice kicker now. Hayden Turner has stepped up to the plate and kicked the goal. Uh, not sure what's going on with the BCRL and kickers today, but we've had some doozies. Uh, normally, rugby league has its uh, fair share of decent enough kickers. But uh, we've seen today that uh, sometimes that is not always the case. <laughs> so Lenahan's tried many kicks today. He's tried the distance. He's tried the sideline. Let's see what he goes for now. He's gone for the short little one. But Turner has given a nice... Oh, that's a great ball, that one. Marshall. Looks to go back to Turner. Turner now stepping, looking for an option. A few guys around, still Lenahan having a crack. Finally gets around the top there. The dynamic duo. Franklin to, to Rother. Looks to go himself. Still looking to beat guys. Still look, Oh, the offload to the Grogan. Grogan, and he steps out, unfortunately. Unlucky for Grogan. Just ran out of space there. Decent flick pass there by Trother. Looks like we're going to have a scrum with the Vipers to feed. Some really nice uh, attacking prowess there showed by the Valley Warriors as they look. Here we go. Still calling it out. Great crowd down here, by the way, uh, at Brockton Pavilion. I'd say at least... 100, 150 people here, which is a really good crowd for a doubleheader. Beautiful day in Vancouver, even though it's a little bit cloudy. The sun's poking through. Oh, Marshall with a ball and all tackle and then driving from Grogan. And it looks like he's held there. Plays the ball. Lenahan gives on the outside to uh, this gentleman with the red socks with a nice little run there. Perfect effort. Looks good. Murphy over the top there on the tackling. Gets up to play the ball a bit slowly, but he's... Securely with it. Fake runner, Shouten. Shouten now, beats one. No, he goes around. Franklin tries to get the tackle. Tries to rip the ball too, but now there's two men in. Wouldn't do that. They'll bring a penalty. So he lets him up. Finally. Oh, he's still walking forward. Yeah, he's been told to take a set back. He's shouting now. Flicks it on. Gives it to the gentleman. Oh, over the top. Illy, our new try scoring machine there, number 20, Illy, making a move. Gives it. Oh, he gives the ball straight to the guy in the red socks in number 13, I believe it might be. No, he's at number 12, I think. Number 8. Plays the ball, the prop. Shouting now, looks for kicking. Nice bomb on the right-hand edge. Hayden Turner's under it. Oh, no, he's juggled it. Picked up again by Shirt. Shouting, this will be zero tackle. Here they go, Vipers. They could get a bit of, a bit of meat back. Here they come. Shouting now. Plays the ball onto the nine. It gives on the outside to Brett. Brett. Brett comes up, gets tackled. <laughs> Drother smothers him onto his back. Great defense shown by the Valley Warriors. And he's getting a bit groggy to get up, Brett. Nine. Gives it on to Lenahan. Lenahan on the outside. Looks for a runner. 14. Again, straight up. And Drother's there again. He's done some work in this set. Here they go on the left-hand side. Gives it the 12. 12 takes a hit up. Drother again chasing out. Perfect effort there. Hazelman. 
Helped there by the 20 Illy. Shouting. Short ball to Dodd. Dodd now. Fifth tackle. What do they got planned? They've got numbers on the right if they want it. Oh, you're back. Jesus. Gives it now. Lenahan. Oh, he's let it go. Off the crossbar. It's just a short, unforced error. A bit of pressure there. A little bit of uh, tough. Then. They did have numbers on the right, which is great. And sometimes it, uh, the ball doesn't fall in your favour, as they say. So it was unfortunate, but they could play the ball. Ward, Marshall. Marshall now. Palms off one, they've got him. Two gets in there, wraps him around the head there, rips off his headgear, still trying to have a crack there at Marshall. Not happy, the young bloke. Ward. Ward comes out of the line now. They come in to rip in, bringing him down. That's a great ball and all tackle by the 15. There's Longman. Longman now. Flick pass out to Grogan. Grogan looking to go. Charges straight into the 14. 14 on 14. Can't get better than that by Grogan. Grogan now looking to play the ball. There past the Ward. Ward back on the inside to Bray. Bray, that big, big bustling run he had earlier. Another big bustling run he makes today. Bray now. Bray looks to play the ball. Does so. Scanlon over the top to Nui. Plenty of space out here. Delay looks the short ball in the corner. Big, big chases. There's no one back there, but here comes the 10. Does he take it in? Yes. But can he get out of his own half? No, he can't. I think he's held up. Yes, they've gone for the drop kick. Wow. Really good chasing there by Valley. Great chasing. Looks like he could have been held up, but he didn't. Hard to get out of there when you're chasing from your back. Well played by uh, Valley Warriors there. As they're still leading 28 to nil. Vipers are yet to score one. Here they go. Nice drop kick out. Marshall now underneath it. Looking to take a runner, takes it himself. Tries to bosh off, gets the offload to Bray. Coming out of the line now, they come out. Makes that tackle, and it's a nice tackle indeed. Scanlon to Franklin. Marshall looks on the air. Oh, nice ball, but it was just a bit wavered to Grogan, and has drifted forward, according to the referee, Yash. And uh, I'd have to agree with him, even though I'm not the greatest angle. It did look like it drifted forward. It was a, the right idea by Marshall. He just had to execute it a little bit better. And that could have been a nice try in the corner there for Valley Warriors. Some great rugby league being played here. Everybody's sort of out on their feet as they uh, work into the, se to the second part of this second half. Here they go. Plays on the ball. Looking to get out of it. 19. He makes a good little run there. Kept, kept on around his head. Oh, he's a bit of a bit of a tight one around around. Him, but he looks like he's not going to get up pretty well. He, he does the young fella. Well played. Gives him the back to Shouten. Shouten looks at the belly outside. He's, here he goes. Oh, it's gone behind him. And it's a penalty for offside. Yep, he's called it offside. They haven't made it back in time. And it was a great move there by Yash, the referee, to call that. And it looks like someone's down in the in the, in the long run. Looks like they're calling for the medic here. We could have an injury, could have another switch up. Here we go now. Looks like the player that was down was Nui. It looks like he's come up all right, though, or he might be uh, still a little bit, a uh, little bit. No, he looks like he's coming off. Have a breather. Great kick out there, shouting with a nice little uh, nudge. Vipers are going to attack from within their own 40, it looks like. And first hit up by Lenahan. 
Oh, he's bumped off Delai, and there he goes away, and he's looking to, to bump off the, the, the fullback, which looks like uh, Illy, the new guy, but he doesn't get a chance to. Big shout from the patio over there, the uh, Brockton Pavilion. Late hit on uh, Brett, too, and they're calling it. They're having words, the two. 13, and uh, looks like the winger came out to put the sh late shot on for the Warriors. A little bit of a niggle happening towards the end. Nice big strong run by Lenahan. He bumps off. Delay. Back down the scrum here. And Delay now taking a hit up, looking to get a revenge. And, oh, he does. He gets a nice little 10-metre run here. Looks to get up to play the ball. Does so. Karoy out of dummy half. Franklin looking at options. He goes to the line. He gets a, gets a little bit of a run there. And they bring him down finally on the 40. Scanlon gives to Mitchell. Mitchell now. Gets tackled around the legs and looks to get up to play the ball quickly, but they don't. They smother him. Goes left to Bray. Bray again. He's away, Bray. Oh, that was an interesting tackle there, number 22, right around the ankles. Archer. It's Marshall. Oh, and he's gone straight through, Marshall. Well done. Well played. Congratulations. To that. He's played, had an awesome game there, Spencer Marshall. And what a top it off with a beautiful try to take his team up to 32 points to zero. Well done to uh, Spencer Marshall. What a great little run there. And uh, I don't know who they're going to get to kick this one because it looks like they're changing it up again. Yep, it looks like Jay Franklin will be taking this kick. Hayden Turner, the glory hunter, has just come out for one kick and uh, kicked it. And uh, they look like they're going to change it up to Jay Franklin. I think, you know what, it looks like they could be just sharing kicking duties for the sake of it. Which could be a real possibility here. But that being said, uh, let's see how his skills are. And he just gets it over. <laughs> Would that we call it a five iron, maybe, or a, a wood? 34 to zero. Now it takes the score with Jay Franklin's attempt. Getting it just over the crossbar. Well played, Jay. And the Vipers, uh, I would say they'd be maybe about eight minutes to go. Let's hope that uh, they can put the big effort in for the last eight minutes. Stephen Lenahan's tried a few different kicks. We're not really sure what kick he's going to try this time. But I can see it being in a good one. Maybe a short. Yep, it's a short one on the ground. He's got a... Oh, and he held it up and picked up well by Longman as they look to chase him. Oh, the whistle almost came to Yash's mouth, but it didn't. It's close. Tarada there. Looks to play. Archer. Uh, still making a move, Archer. Not held there. 14 coming in. Archer now looking to play the ball, does so. Gives it to Mitchell. Mitchell looking for a hit up, the big prop. And he's held. To Rother. To Marshall. Marshall to Franklin. Franklin steps off his left and comes back inside. Franklin now looking to play the ball. Karoy. Dummies and goes himself. Oh, he goes straight through there. They, go, they can't hold on to him. Looks for the long pass out to Turner. This could be a try here. Turner stepping back inside. They, can they hold him? Is he held up? They do. They just keep him up on the fifth. 
Delai going for himself. And it's a try. What an effort there by Delai. I do believe it's Delai in the corner. Excellent work there by Delai. Delai to uh, seal the deal there to make it 38 points to zero. A strong, strong effort here all around by the Valley Warriors. They've come out uh, really to play some really good uh, rugby league as such. And in that, can, in that way, it, uh, it has. And uh, it looks like, because it's going to be a sideline kick, we've got our famous kicker back, Hayden Turner. Looks like he will be taking this kick, which is great. Great to see. Here we go. Turner's ready to go. Turn it out, have a shot. Here we go. Let's see if he can keep his all streak. Oh, wow. How's that? So 40 points to zero. And the best kicker, Hayden Turner, who's kicked two from the sideline, has only kicked two. <laughs> so I think uh, he should be kicking duties, but, you know, I'm not the coach. All right. Here we are with uh, Stephen Lenhan and take another, sh another kick. Being glorious in defeat, these guys, Vipers. They've kept up the whole game. Not, not, no heads down. Nobody's really... Um, Nobody's really been uh, looking to try and, you know, just let the other team have their easy points. There's a short kickoff there straight to Tarotha and tackled by 14 and 16 and 11 looking to come in for the legs, but he doesn't do it. Mitchell now looking for a run and he does. He gets a, gets a move on as they're all working now. Tarotha to Franklin. Franklin now to Law. Law, whoa, he bumps off, but uh, Shouten still hangs on. 19 and Shouten making a move there for Law to Rother to Caron. Back on the inside to Illy. Illy, he's held, he's held. Oh, he holds that ball well there, Illy. Well played, Illy. Looks to play the ball now to Rother. Outside to Caron. Growing out of Marshall. Marshall gives it to Turner. Turner long ball to Grogan. They've all come across though. Inside to Longman. Longman now looking to beat one. Looks for second tackle and they bring him down finally. Fifth tackle now. They're about 30, 30 metres out. Marshall. Looking now. It's fifth tackle. They've got to get it away. A knee kick. Haven't seen that for a while. Oh! Swinging arm, but I don't know what he made contact with there. He contacted the head, but it definitely hit the ball as well. Maybe it hit the ball and popped the ball out and then bumped up and hit him in the head. But you can definitely see it was a swinging arm by Marshall. Just frustrated, I think, with the kick there. He uh, tried to get a good kick and it came off his knee, which is always a, a disappointing. Shouting now going to look to kick to the corn, kick to the sideline. Decent kick there. Good chase by the Vibers. Good to see that the wingers are still chasing up, you know. Good to see that uh, even though 40 points down, still some fight in this Viper side yet. Here they go. Oh, they've come up to meet him, and you heard that collision. I hope you caught on the mic. Some really uh, bustling defence there. There's, there's no give-ups. It's almost the end of the game and there is no give ups here. They're not giving an inch there, Wiley Warriors. They want to keep a shutout and they just ripped that ball. It looked like two were in the tackle, but no, he's gone six to go for Vipers. They've regathered. 
Gives the ball now to Shouten. Shouten looked to try to get the Vipers try. Oh, pass on the outside. It looks like it went backwards. Yes, Yash says so. And he's thrown him out on that far side, unfortunately. That's disappointing. And it looks like it'll be a scrum. Some nice effort there. The fence and attack looked like it was going well on the right-hand side. Just needs to stretch up and go straight ahead and then can make that work a bit better. Here they go, Franklin now. Franklin making a move. He's given it up there, the Longman. Longman. He's held that ball. He's held that ball there. And they and there's 19, I like the way 19 moves back around to the front. It's quite good. Got some good skills there. To Rother. To Franklin. Franklin there to Motion. And Motion now. Oh, looks for the offload. No, it doesn't. No, that's not the siren, by the way. That's just uh, someone left open the thing. Oh, Tarotha now, he's away, Tarotha, he's looking, he's looking, he's, he's got to beat there, Tarotha, he's got to beat the 22, 22 is trying to come out, he'll go all the way, Tarotha will go all the way and score, what a try by Luke Tarotha, finally gets some meat after having a crack at trying to get his, his uh, go there, well done there by Luke Tarotha for the Valley Warriors, bringing the score to 44 points to zero, not sure who's going to take the kick here, if you're going to have, it, if you're a betting man, you'd say Hayden Turner, seeing he is a, one of their best kickers. But uh, I've seen difference. Well, it looks. It, I mean, it looks like Hayden Turner's there to take a kick. No, it's going to be Marika Delai. <laughs> he's going to take the kick. I don't think he's had a kick today, so why not let him have a kick? I do enjoy the uh, Valley Warriors sharing. It's quite nice to see uh, some sharing by the. Uh, by the players. This could be the last play of the game, I believe it could be. Yash looks at his watch. The boys don't look like they're setting up to receive a kick, so it could be. 44 points to nil, kick to come, shapes to kick. Marika, distance is good. And I believe he missed that kick. I think he missed the kick, so the score remains Valley Warriors 44 points defeat the Vancouver Valley Vipers here at Brockton Oval 2 0. Shut out for the Valley Warriors. We're going to go down to the fields now and uh, have a couple of interviews with a couple of players. We're down here with Valley Warriors player number one fullback Hayden Turner. They scored two tries, kicked two goals. Mate, uh, big win for you guys over the Vipers today. Yeah, it was, a, it was a really good win. Um, we didn't show up in the warm-up and it showed in the first half and then the second half turned it on. So they had short numbers, so just a good advantage. Absolutely. Uh, the two tries down this sideline, it looked like you put on the same play twice and uh, it looked like you beat the outside player both times, mate. Uh, was that was that planned? Um, we just knew we had him out wide and we just went executing all game, so just had to get it out there. Mate, uh, a lot of <laughs> I'm talking. We share the kickers a lot, but uh, you seem to be the only bloke that kicked two from outside, out wide, mate. Uh, how come you're not the regular kicker? Well, for Union, I'm the kicker, but Jay reckons he's a league kicker, so we let him start, and then I'll finish it off if he misses. <laughs> okay, excellent work. Well, uh, there you go. Uh, thanks very much, mate. Great, congratulations to win. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Thank you. Down here with uh, number nine for the Vancouver Valley Vipers, uh, Spencer Toto. Uh, Spencer, a tough loss today. Yeah, a little bit, but. Uh, you know, first year coming up, so a lot of us, this is our second game, so I think we did pretty well, but we gave them a run for the money in the first half, and then the second half kind of numbers were hard for us. Yeah, some um, some really nice scoots and some uh, work out of dummy half. Uh, are you enjoying that position? Yeah, a, really, a lot. It's uh, similar to Union, but I don't get penalized for doing what I like, so. And what is it that you like doing? <laughs> Running up and trying not to get hit. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you guys are on a building phase and, uh, you know, with the boys you got and, um, you know, players like Rick Shouten and, uh, and uh, Stephen Lanahan, the more experienced players. Um, do you guys think you can really uh, get up for the last two games and probably get a couple of Ws there? Yeah, Stephen's working really hard with the team to try and get guys out and just teach us the basics so that we're not thinking about it on the field. 
where that's coming as instinct and just uh, rumbling through it. But again, the more numbers we have, the more guys that know what they're doing and it makes the whole game easier. Absolutely. Well, uh, Spencer, it's been a pleasure watching you play, mate. So uh, commiserations on the loss. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks.